God, I pray that you are all having a blessed night. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Go ahead, come on in here. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. My God, my God, my God. Praise God. I'm going to wait till you guys get up on here. I'm going to wait till you guys get up on here. Okay, come on, praise God, praise God. I'm going to wait till you guys come up on here. Because I got something I want to talk to you guys about. Hello, Autumn. How are you doing, Kim? Fleur D. Bayou? <laughs> Tracy, how you doing? Alisa? Toy? Maxine, Jazzy, Beverly, I think maybe Beverly or Beverly, Rosella, how you doing? How you guys doing? All right. So praise God. Okay. So if you look at my title, first of all, it's going to be short, but long as far as in the spirit. Let me tell y'all something was happening. So, you know, I asked God about everything. I said, God, why are they actually, you know, kicking me off a couple other people? You, you guys got to be very attentive in this hour. The only people that they're kicking off are the ones who's bringing y'all truth. They're not kicking the others off. That's not to try to bash nobody. It's time for you to pay attention because God made me get up on here. I just got through class and, and you know, that was what, two, three hours or whatever the case may be. And God still wanted me to get on here and do this live. So let me go ahead and tell you what's going on. Numbers are everything. That's why they have math. Numbers are everything. I'm going to say it again. Numbers are everything. They are rolling out the mark of the beast system. Now, I told y'all it started with COVID-19. Notice 19. All right. So let me talk to y'all about numbers. And I want y'all to roll with me. Numbers are a biblical meaning means God speaks to his people. As one of the many biblical examples of numbers, seven refers to a day of rest. Genesis 2, 3rd, 2, 3, 5 often stands for grace. The number 12 as apostolic derail from the account where Jesus appointed 12 disciples. Now let's talk about it some more. So, okay. So the top 10 num numbers, top 10 numbers in biblical numerical was what? 22 in terms of usage. 40, completion of fulfillment. 12, advertisement, management, government, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is that in notice, we also have the book of numbers. I want you to pay attention what they're doing. I'm gonna keep it simple so you can understand. So 666 is the mark of the beast, right? Everybody agree to that? All you gotta do is Google it. Didn't they give the stimulus first check was $1,200? Six and six, right? So why was this check $600? Simple, but real what I'm getting ready to say. They had to complete the numerical system of 666. And I know you say, oh, well, okay. It's finished. This is the mark of the beast. It had to be, let me tell you something. Everything's with numbers. You remember when he was building the ark? Has to be 70 cubic feet, 50 cubic feet. Okay, let's go back to the tabernacle days, the Ark of the Covenant. The curtains had to be 23 feet. This, this, God is a God of numbers, but so is the enemy. God said, now it is finished. They have established the Mark of the Beast system. Every had to do with numbers. The COVID, how many people got killed? How many people died? It had to be, I think it was a million something the first time around, right? Y'all not understand what I'm saying, right? My God, I hope y'all catch this. That this last six, it com it's a completion of rolling out the mark of the beast. So now let's go back to what I started with. Why they're kicking us off. It's called social engineering. Even what we're doing now. Let me tell you something. You can't go anywhere without everybody on their phone, right? Y'all know it's true, right? Right? Social engineering. Kids, children, social engineering. And then when the system really roll out, they're going to take all this from us. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm weaning myself off of all social media. I'm, I'm actually got a channel. I'm going to be streaming. I'm actually going to even start church services as far as in the prophetic. Let me clear this up. 
because I, I denounced my title for a reason. I'm going to flow in what I flow with. It's going to be called flowing in the prophetic. I'm going to talk to you just the way I'm talking to you now, telling you what does say the Lord. You guys, y'all don't understand what time it is, huh? It is time to get closer to God like never before. God says in this shift, everyone and everything must shift. I didn't understand it either. When we moved from Louisiana to here, I thought we were just doing it because I was mad and all that stuff happened. What didn't happen or what's supposed to happen, I'm going to keep it 100. And then when, when I kind of settled down, God said, Deanna, you're here by design. Divine numbers, 2021. He says, divine, everything is divine. You are just where you're supposed to be because I, I, I wanted you to shift. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. People of God, please hear me. This is the time to pray for wisdom and discernment like never before. But this is the time to make it known who you are because the, it's being divided. Oh, come on, somebody. They're not hiding no more. Who is God's and who serves Satan? Who will you serve God or will you serve mammon? Thus saith the Lord. The line is being drawn. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to serve God to the day I die. Hallelujah. Christians, if you are true Christians, you're getting ready to be tested. Persecution is getting ready to come in every form. They're getting ready to take the Bibles. I told y'all, and I have to reiterate it. I see them burning all the Bibles in a big heap. And they're going to call it the great burning. It's going to be televised. Everything is getting ready to be shut down. I see, let me tell y'all why they need those chips in our body. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, that RFID chip. Because that chip will be able to locate you where you are at all times. Just like with this phone. Honey, this is an iPhone. And if I know what I know, I never got it. But whatever. You could turn this thing off and it'll still have the location. Google it. Everybody knows that. That's how it will be in your body. So they need that chip in our forehead or in our right hand. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And this last, okay, so I told y'all they gave y'all $1,200, right? Six, six, and now this other six is finished. Now, the next thing, the next stimulus they roll out, that's going to be connected to the vaccine. Oh, we, and it might be 2000 I don't know. God didn't tell me enough. This is the time to pray over yourself right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, prepare me. Prepare me so I don't be scared. I don't take any chip willingly. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And you better pray for wisdom, and you better pray for discernment, and you better pray for courage. Joshua 1, 8, you better. He said, have I not commanded you to be of good courage? I'm telling you right now, and they're sending in people. I'm looking at all this stuff unfold. You know. Excuse me. It's like I'm sleeping, but I'm not sleeping, if it makes sense. I'm having end time dreams. I, I mean, and I, I got to go here. I got to go here because this is how real it is for me. I've already coached my dad, you know, if God still blessed me to be with him and he with myself. I said, Dad, if these people come up in here and they get me, don't do nothing. It's not your time. Let them take me. I don't think. Y'all understand where we at. Y'all better start having conversations with your family. You better start having conversations with your children. You better make sure they're saved. Right now, it's time for us to evangelize like never before. We don't have time to play games because I'm telling you, this stuff going to happen quick. Y'all didn't believe me. I've been talking about this for 10 years. Martial law, all this stuff that's coming, it's here. It's here whether you want to believe it or not. And you know what hurts my heart? God forgive me. But I got to say it, and I know that you're letting me say it because I'm going to say it in decent and in order. I never thought I would see the jelly back preachers and teachers and men and women of God the way I'm seeing. You scared, nah, huh? You scared. Oh, y'all scared. Yeah, most, you scared. You doing everything them people say to do. The reason why the main line stream preachers are not speaking about this, they can't. I didn't understand why God kept me from a 5013C. They can't because the last person that tried to talk about homosexuality or anything that go against those 5013C rules, they were fined. John Hagee used to get fined, 50,000. They fined them. That's why I thank God. You know, before I was like, God, oh, why, why, why? I thank God he, he stopped me and blocked me from a lot of stuff. 
you better get yourself prepared, thus said the Lord. And it's not to put you in fear. It's about the inevitable. All we did was trade places with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are living in the days of Jesus where they seek the Christians, where they want to know what you're doing, how you're doing it, and why you're doing it. As a matter of fact, remember everything I'm saying tonight. As for myself, I'm already on the list. They're calling us extremists. We're going too far. Hate speech. We're doing this a lie. It's a lie before God. All we're doing is telling y'all the truth that they're going to come into your homes. Let me tell you something, because I'm going to reiterate this. I prophesied this years, years ago, but I must reiterate it. Martial law is coming. As a matter of fact, martial law here is just a soft one, but it's getting ready to be a hard one. They are already positioned. Everything is already in position. I'm trying to warn y'all, not before, because when it goes down, they're going to cut all this off. We ain't going to be able to, they might, as a matter of fact, they're going to cut everything off. Y'all y'all understanding what's going to happen. So think about it. What you going to do when they come for you? But let me go ahead and tell y'all, martial law is going to be implemented at around 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. They're going to come in your homes. Here's the deal. People like me, they're taking us straight to FEMA camps. They're going to call us extremists. We're coming, we're going against, and hold on. There's a law that they can arrest you for future crimes that you haven't even committed yet. I mean, they didn't pass so much stuff. Y'all, y'all was asleep. Y'all don't even know. They didn't pay. You haven't even, you didn't even have to commit the crime. They could think that you're going to do it and arrest you. You don't hear me. There's our amendments have been just wiped and right, right in front of our face. And we didn't even know it. And some of us did, but we was too busy playing. When that stuff happens, and I'm telling you so you can pray and you can be strong, they take in all the children. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to scare you. They're separating families. That's how they're going to break people down. Y'all don't hear me. And I know y'all don't want to hear it because it's like, oh my God, God going to come get us. <laughs> not before some things happen. You have to ask God to keep you strong in the Lord. Right now, get in those Bibles because you're going to wish you had. As a matter of fact, let me tell y'all something. I, I'm, I'm releasing my last four books. Let me tell you something. My last, I will never write another book again because I want to focus. I want everybody to know what does say the Lord. He say, we have been misinformed. Too much information out there and not the Bible. We've made this thing too much about us. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to tell the truth up in here tonight. Every preacher, every teacher. We, we got this. We got that. We got that. He want everybody to go back to focusing on the Bible. He said, learn of me. Learn my words. Write it in your heart for when they take the Bible, it'll be in your heart. You'll know what to say in that hour. You'll know how to stand in that hour. You'll know what to answer in that hour. Hallelujah. You'll know how to pray in that hour, God says. People hear me. Hear me. Why do you think they, they shut me down? <laughs> Yesterday, I was blocked on all social media sites. <laughs> All right, I'm still blocked on the rest of them, just not this one. And hold on. This was from a post two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they told me. <laughs> I'm like, wow, you could do that from two weeks ago? Oh, I forgot. She posted something that wasn't. Go ahead. Y'all scared of that power of God that's inside of me. Hallelujah. I'm nothing but the power of God is. Hallelujah. And I'm going to warn you all to the day that I have any no more breath in me. I'm not scared of them. And you better not be either because God say, if you deny me, hallelujah, I will deny you, said the Lord. And hold on. That's what they're coming for. They're coming from for your faith in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They hated him then and they hate him now. Hallelujah. They hate his name and they hate you if you represent him. Hallelujah. So I'm not trying to scare you. So please understand. I'm not trying to install fear, you know, because there's going to be one or two of y'all. Oh, this sounds like fear. The devil is a lie. I don't even know the name fear. I ain't never had that in my blood, to be told. I am. The Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. God has me up on here warning you guys. Warning you. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you say. Pray about everything. Test everything by the Spirit. Test everybody by the Spirit, says the Lord. Y'all letting too much get close to you. Protect your gates, your eye gate. Be careful who speaks in your ear. Be careful who touches you. Be careful who prays over you. You, you think this again? Warlocks and witches running the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They don't play with me. 
because they know I'm going to call them out. Oh, yes, I am. Hallelujah. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I see. It's, it's, it's here. I never thought I would live to see it, truth be told. I thought, you know, God would have been. <laughs> I guess that wasn't it. But um, God says, be strong. He said, I have overcome the world and you can too. We're not of this world. And I have to say this. God says, stop doing things for money and stop being afraid. Some of y'all are so afraid. You're scared to die. I'm so glad Jesus Christ wasn't scared to die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to say something, Judas. Judas, you'll never get a chance to spend that 30 pieces of silver, Judas. Hallelujah. Let me tell y'all something. You didn't think that Jesus knew who Judas was. He knew from the gate, but he was given that fool a chance. As, hold on. God will even give you what you think you want. He let him be over the treasure knowing he had a greedy spirit. Do you remember when the lady with the alabaster box, she broke it and she anointed him and it was $15,000 worth of oil. And, and all the apostles, they just looking at because they kind of felt it was a spiritual thing. But only Judas was like, well, why did y'all let her do that? We could have sold that. We could have, for the glory of God, for, for, for the kingdom of God, lying the whole time. He just wanted the money because he had a greedy spirit be careful judas because i got a feeling that same money that you accepted you're gonna throw back at your people the ones that gave it to you you're gonna throw it back and then you're gonna go hang yourself judas hallelujah jesus always knew who judas was but i i tell you he knew and notice what he said he said go do what you got to do quickly hallelujah not knowing i'm gonna use you judas to get to where i gotta go Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Some of y'all mad at you, Judas. Don't get mad. Just tell him, go do what you got to do quickly. Hallelujah. <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me. Because in the end, we win. I'm going to say it again. In the end, we win. Don't act like y'all don't know who world this is. You know, I always thought, okay, God, I want to be successful. I want to be this. I want to be that. And the enemy will make you feel like you're not. But let me tell you something. You are successful when you can sit up there and preach and minister and teach and say what well, thus said the Lord, knowing you're going to get hit. Hallelujah. That's strength. That's success because you're doing what Jesus Christ have called you to do. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I pray that y'all be strong in the Lord, getting your word. Y'all better read them Bibles while you got them. Oh, it's going to come a time where you're not going to be able to say the name of Jesus Christ. You're not going to be able to possess a Bible. And it's coming quick. Let me tell you all something. If you go look at my page, and I'm going to share it again. In September, I said that it was going to come a new um, string, a new co a new chemical warfare. I said that in September, I found the um, the video. I'm here to tell you, last year was nothing to what they got planned this year. And they think to be the element of surprise, but they just don't know. God got some people like me that's going to warn y'all and tell y'all. Thank you, Lord. You know what I'm reminded of? The five wise virgins and the five foolish virgins. You better have your all. And don't ask me for mine. Hallelujah. I'm not giving it up. You should have had your own. You should have been prepared. And that's, that's not a game. You should have been prepared. Everybody just having fun, partying, doing every kind of, and, and then when it happens, everybody don't want to cry. You know, just like we know of, when building the ark, he was warning people, and they laughed, they laughed because it hadn't rained, right? Well, boy, when that rain came, I, I wasn't there, but I can just imagine how they was trying to scuffle and get in that boat, and it was too late. And can you imagine Noah, them, all eight of them drifting away, and they watching everybody else die? That had to be a horrific scene to watch. That stuff is real. You better, you better pay attention what time it is because it's high time, said the Lord. And that's all he told me to say, so I'm going to get up off of here. Oh, hallelujah, Angie, you're not lying. Betrayal is happening. I'm not even going to get on that one. <laughs> I forgive everybody that, that, that still trying. You can't get close to me no more. That, them, game, them days over with. Mm -mm. So, so whatever they paid, you better give them, them people their money back. <laughs> Don't start me. Don't start me. So anyway, praise God. Praise God. I'm getting out of here. God bless you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. Y'all better be prepared. Don't be scared. Be prepared. Because in the end, we do win. God bless. <laughs>